Hey, 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 all right, everybody. How's it going? Now, a couple of days, or maybe even a week ago, I was blabbing on about something. I can't quite remember what the video was about. <laughs> um, but in that video, I did mention, why don't it, you know, people who make these, um, ch the charging infrastructure, okay, uh, in the UK, I'm talking about mainly, uh, the people who buy these chargers off to certain different companies, why do they all buy Tesla superchargers? Because they seem to be the the most reliable. Out of all the chargers, they seem to be the most reliable charging units. Um, and I was saying, instead of buying, you know, some of these other, other charging units, they seem to do have a lot of problems. Like the Ionity ones, uh, uh, GridServe, they all have little niggles and problems. Sometimes you can't charge. And sometimes you go there and the charger's a bit slow. Sometimes it's the charger, sometimes it's your car. <laughs> it is the car sometimes, and sometimes it's the ch it is the charger. But I was talking about, you know, let's get it more reliable. Let's get these charging units to be, you know, you rock up, you go there, you put your card on the thing, right? Bish, bosh, bosh, it's done. Chuck the thing in, nice fast charge, every time, all the time. Okay? And... I was saying, why don't people just say to Tesla, hey, Elon Musk, can we buy your superchargers and put our stickers on it? And he'll go, yeah, of course you can. Well, <laughs> I was talking about that. Then yesterday in the news, what pops up? Uh, there's a company, is it EG? Oh, I think it's EG. I'll put it up on the screen by the side of me by here, right? And I think it's a UK company. And I think it's the same people who own Asda's at the moment in the UK. And they've decided that they're going to buy Tesla superchargers and brand them themselves. You know, you can put whatever branding you want on a supercharger, can't you? I don't know if you can change the colour. Hey, Elon, can that red bit be green and the white bit be black? I don't know. <laughs> or just put stickers on it. Um, so they've, they've, they've done a deal. And obviously Tesla has said, yes, you can buy our superchargers. That's no problem at all. Hopefully they'll be all version 4 versions, or V4 versions, I think it is, because they're the fastest and bestest. <laughs> um, and I th It's going to have to be version 4, because they're the ones with these screens and the touch, uh, you know, you can touch, touch, touch your car on it, and you've got the screens telling you what to do. So it must be the latest and greatest superchargers. And they've said yes, and they said they're going to install up to 20,000 of them across the whole of Europe, that is, not just in the UK, because I think the, the 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 group will do this charging are across Europe as well. Uh, so that is fantastic news. So they're going to buy superchargers off Tesla, put their branding on it, I assume, and then will I make it more reliable? Now, if you're a... If you do happen to watch this, I don't think you will, but if you happen to watch this video and you own, not a Tesla, uh, a different electric car, have you used the Tesla chargers that are open to all networks, to all cars? Have you tried them and have you had any problems or has it been more reliable than the other chargers? Because obviously when a Tesla uses a Tesla supercharger, the protocols between the two things you know, they, they're all, they've all been sorted. They're all bob on. Because um, there's Tesla superchargers and the Tesla hardware so software in the car. It all matches to the, the superchargers. So if you are watching this, or if you know anybody who owns, let's say, a Volkswagen ID, an MG4, uh, whatever, whatever electric car you can think of other than a Tesla, have they tried using the Tesla network that's open to all electric cars? Have they had any problems or has it all been plain sailing? Um, I hope it's been all plain sailing because that could be the way forward. Um, if the chargers become more more reliable, then people are, you know, they're going to have more confidence in buying an electric car, aren't they? Um, but there we go. So the, the group, like I said, I, I'll put it up on the screen again by here. Uh, they are buying Tesla superchargers, version 4, I assume. And they're going to plonk them in all their four courts and whatever. Um, 20,000, that's quite a lot. Now, back in, I did say in the other video that, um, is it BP Pulse in America? They've ordered Tesla superchargers. Uh, 
to put in their four courts. Now, it looks like the the snowball is going to start rolling down the hill, <laughs> and more and more of these companies are going to start using the Tesla superchargers. So it looks like Tesla is going to become a supplier of the charging infrastructure. That's what it looks like it's going to be. Um, I don't know if that was their plan when they opened up the chargers to all cars, uh, but it looks like they're going to be another branch uh, to their tree, I suppose, is that they're going to be selling the charging infrastructure to people. So there we go. Anyway, I thought I'd share that bit of good news with you. I think it's good news. Well, it all depends how it pans out. But anyway, I'll catch you in the next one. Ooh.